Welcome everybody, welcome to once again our little spot in the desert, our little piece of heaven out here at Arizona Gun Guys. The desert is all around us. It's a Saturday afternoon, we had a hell of a time finding a spot where there wasn't people shooting the place up, but uh, we finally found a spot here. So today we're going to see Rich destroy a five gallon bucket full of water, soap and dye. Hopefully it'll go into a classic explosion, we'll see. But primarily today we're just working on our, uh, on our pistol skills. Also, we're going to do some fun night shooting, or at least as it gets dark, do some muzzle flashes and see just how good those flash suppressors work on the AR-15. So that's pretty much what we are doing today. We're going to shoot 45s, 9s, and 22s at our, at our Christmas tree over here, our little shooting tree. And we'll see what happens. Hope you enjoy it. Obviously, it's defective. I mean, it only goes halfway. I mean, what's going on? Nah, that's my little 22. I'm surprised it pushed it that far. Carry on. ACP. Let's see if we can get him to swing now. Maybe we gotta hit him first. Wow. Got a mind of its own. Man, I love the power of these 45s. It smells like heaven. Ah, beautiful. You getting hit? Okay, look, steel. That's what happens when you're too close to steel. We are about, we stepped it up about 21 feet, seven yards, but you're supposed to shoot no closer then. And I got hit. See there, that's why we wear eye protection. <laughs> Safety glasses. Rich of AZ Gun Guys showing off his Molson Mo Nagant. Mo Molson Nagant. Or Molson Nagant or something like that. <laughs> This is the M91-39 uh, Russian Mawson Nagant shoots the 7.62 by 51, 54R, 54R. Okay. Uh, this is all military surplus. 
These were used by the Russians during the Second World War against Rush or <laughs> excuse me, against uh, Some of them are against Russians, against <laughs> the ones that turn and ran. <laughs> yes. Do you see the uh, I saw enemy at the gates. <laughs> enemy at the gate. Um, but these were highly accurate even though they were very cheaply made and that they had uh, made quite a few of these. They were snipers. They sent their squads of snipers out to kill off uh, any of the German officers. And that Vasily, was, what was his name? Vasily, the big, big Russian sniper. Yeah. 300 some odd kills by the end of the war. Pretty amazing. And that. Uh, now, what is the cost of that gun nowadays? The gun was uh, $89 at Big Five about two, three years ago. That came including a oil can, bayonet, or a bayonet that sticks up about another two feet past the barrel. <laughs> and that uh, thing's about six and a half feet long if you put the bayonet on it. $89. $89. You got hosed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I think I've seen, I thought I saw those similar to that over at Bass Pro Shop for like $289. They have gone up in price. Seems like everybody's enjoying it. The ammo's still somewhat cheap compared to what everything else is going for right now. So everybody's buying these off. Like I said, that they are accurate. If you get a decent one that's got a decent bore, there's some of them that's, uh, bores are pretty shot out now. And that's so. So it's fun to shoot. Yes. So our target today. Our is target today is a five gallon, uh, I'll say, paint bucket. We got it out about 40 yards. We got it full of water with some coloring in it and some soap. Hopefully, we'll get a nice uh, explosion on it with some bubbles and some coloring. Pretty picture, yeah. And this is going to show everybody the power of these old World War II guns and how the worst thing you wanted to do is be in front of one of them. I mean, my God, the, the, we're using 223 now, and I get the whole velocity and stuff out of the ARs, but that's just a big ass hunk of lead flying down range at you. So, Rich is going to get ready here, and we'll get the next shot up. Good? Good. That was less than spectacular. There's a hit, solid one. Okay, well, if you could see me, it's pretty well dark here. This camera shoots really well in the in the night. Well, at least at dusk, anyway. So we're gonna do a little night shoot now as it gets dark here. We'll fire a few off and hopefully get some cool effects. We'll see what happens. Who knows? Give it a try. All right, 22 in the dark. If it shoots. Hey, I knocked that target down in the dark, dude. 380 in the dark. In the dark, rock and roll. One more time, the 22. Yahoo, 22. Nice, dropped it. I'm better at night than I am during the day. One more time, the 22. Just can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Yahoo, 22. Nice, dropped it. I'm better at night than I am during the day. Oh, you can drop that one. Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> Just can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me a better liar. Hey, 380 again. Is that only a six rounder or is that all you put in? That's what I put in. Okay. Kind of get dark to, hard to look. <laughs> yeah, it is. Forty five ACP. Forty five in the dark, kids. In the dark. Here we go. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Even though I had the first one jam up on me. Let's see what we got here. Sweet. I don't think I'm using my inferior ammo. <laughs> I didn't even bring it out. I got one more. 45 loaded. Oh, yeah. 
Sweet. That looks cool. It's kind of funny because the slide's coming back and you still see the flash coming from the, op <laughs> the second opening. That's going to be your shot. That's going to be nice. Okay, here we go. This is a nine. Yeah, baby. Here's another nine. Poor bunny. <laughs> you shoot the 45 yet? I've been. Oh, you just did? Okay. That was what you saw. Another 45 mag, and then I'll switch to nine. Okay, 45, 45 ACP. 45. Yours too, man. That's cool. Again, 45 ACP. Okay, we're going to do a dual shot here, kids, even though you can't see me, maybe a little bit. A dual shot, 245s, a Kimber, let's see if, well, if I keep mine from jamming. Truth is, I haven't cleaned it in a while because I don't know how to put it back together. No, I do, it's just that it uh, made a pain in the ass. Okay, we're ready. Ready. On three. Shoot ready. Rapid fire. One, two, three. Jammed. Oh well, I think she's dirty. <laughs> she's dirty. All right, let me rock and roll with a 45. My last mag for the 45. Oh, bitch. Sweet. Here we go. 22. Rapid fire. Try to wrap the fire. <laughs> Allow 22. All right. Moving to the SIG, 9 millimeter. Ain't she purdy? That may have been the best show of the night. So far, one more time. <laughs> okay, this is the Moss and the Gott. Hopefully you can see it. Hey, where should I shoot from so I can see the flame? Uh, I would say you're good right at the same place. I mean, it's probably good there. So if you can see anything here, Tony from AZ Gun Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Be careful with your guns, all those good things. And this barrel's red hot. Can you see it? Definitely. All right. 
Have a good evening. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.